So the books are in, okay. second printing, and uh, of course, I have this for you, with my X number on it. It's first piece of good news, Okay. second piece of good news, I had to renew my marijuana referral, so I brought it in, you can have a copy of that. And I have, because the books are in, we're ready to go on the tour, and you won't have to deal with me for the next five and a half months, and I have names and dates. Five and a half months and I have names and dates and addresses for you <laughs> five and a half months just uh you know what I, what I told you about uh, last time that I, I didn't have but was waiting for the books to be able to put together so those are the places we're going to be based out of and it's all driving so it's really easy um, for you paper wise it's just the addresses where we're going to be and we're going to be hitting those areas and then coming back uh, end of September. I figured you'd have to type it all into a form anyway. If you like, I well, could no, actually... The issue is you're going to be out of supervision for a very long period of time. Well, I figured there'd be some way for me to check in or check in with someone else or well, do a P-test on the road every now and then. to have to get some sort of uh, clarification from the interstate contact. I don't have the authority to do this on my own. Okay. Well, it's just travel for work. It's all very specific. No, I understand work. that. But see, you're going to be not showing up for five months. Well, I can I can come back intermittently if well, if I absolutely have to understand. But on April 9th? yes, sir. Okay. Did you have any kind of? Oh, and I left a check with. Uh, Did you really finally? Glad I'm sitting. <laughs> it wasn't for much. I need to get out and make some money. This is how we do it. We go out and sell books and sell T-shirts. Mm -hmm. Did she buy one? <laughs> I gave her one. <laughs> Speaking of which... I'm sure she'll make a donation later. Speaking of which... Uh, an interesting thing happened yes, when you left here last time around. Yeah, I was threatened by one of the officers. Did you see the video? Uh, I tried getting on a couple times for some reason. I wasn't able to... I wasn't able to see anything. Yeah. I heard audio. Oh, I was considering, you, you got on YouTube and heard the audio but didn't see the video? Yeah. Oh. I did see some other stuff though. I was considering pressing charges against him for threatening me inappropriately with uh, under section 242, or section 18, uh, title 18, section 242, color of law, mm -hmm. when, when an, any government agent makes a threat under the color of law saying, like, like for a cop to say, hey, if you don't suck my dick, I'm going to give you a traffic, t uh, a speeding ticket. I see. It's it, it, when 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 you when you subjectify the law like that. If you don't know what the law is and you threaten someone, mm -hmm. you're allowed to lie as an officer to get information, but you're not allowed to threaten someone. And that's that's what he did to me. And if, if you got the, even from the audio, Could I, uh, your other two cases would you clarify are clarify a little. He said um, and, and that and there, and there's a, and, and if you record me as an officer in public, I am going to arrest you and press charges against you, which is illegal, which would have been illegal for him to do, and the threat of which is arguably also illegal. Trying to make money making my YouTube videos. He's out there interviewing people. Anyone's expense? I haven't 
Well, no, I was just talking. To, we're, we're hoping to talk to just people going in and out for like traffic court and stuff. And then we got confronted and thought that was a more interesting video. I, I've done this before. If you go back, I've done it in chats with. Yeah, because 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 the commission of the offense occurred. While you were on for those two cases. Well, I do it to provoke conversation. Reaction is a nice side effect sometimes. Uh, yeah, well, it's one that I think you look for. Some, well, no, I, I really don't. I, I really, I really go look to challenge the way people think. And if people say, "Wow, I've taken on a new way of thinking," then you know that's 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 a better form of drama than. You know, a negative you reaction. Well, that's true. The, it might even be event, interesting yeah. if you were. That's fine. You're, you're admitting the truth because you don't remember. I can't talk to people on the street I'm when I'm on probation? That. There's this thing called what's appropriate and what isn't appropriate. Okay. Okay. I think that cop was extremely inappropriate, Officer Whitfield, and if it's if it's helpful if to you, I, I'd be happy to file charges against him. If it makes it would be helpful to me, you file charges against him. I mean, you know, theoretically. Well, no, I mean, I'm really like, I, I, it's one of those things where when it, when it, you know how it is when when a cop breaks the law. It's very, very difficult for them to be well, held accountable. We've been a lot of that lately, but that's a whole other issue. <laughs> <laughs> you, ever, you ever have any cops or former cops on probation here? Because they know you're coming back and forth to court. You're not a flight risk. So not that I'm aware of. Trying to release you not on me your personally. Own yeah, because they usually, you know, they don't have to deal with that. I don't, I, it's only okay. for us, please. I've seen some I'm celebrities saying, here <laughs> under the uh, high-profile <laughs> case law. Can't mention any names, but they're always amusing um, to listen to. Or you got me on the medium to low profile the celebrity level? <laughs> well, I'm sure that'll <laughs> change with this tour. <laughs> no, this is just one more level. One more leveling up. But it is going out and, and talking to our, you know, our hardcore yeah, supporters, people who have paid for the deliveries. So anything. we have to go okay. make good on our commitments. Um, Let's just say the, that in terms of this, okay, what let me give you your case time, numbers to make sure that they have all your cases, okay? Given the circumstances, second, given the fact okay, that you're on probation and you're being supervised in this office, which is located in this court building, it really doesn't help your mm -hmm. case either personally or professionally. To do what? If you get stopped. Question well, I can't. I can't help if a cop is going to break the law. I mean, you can't put that I'm, on me. I'm talking about what you do when you're in the community, particularly in the same building where you're being supervised. Just talking to people like on the street. Now you're trying to play me like a fool. Well, no. I mean, you I know what you, I. You, know, you know what I do. I do know. So. If if cops want to interfere with what I do, like as my job, as you know, as savior of the universe, entertainer, infotainer, savior. like savior. Of the universe. <laughs> That's great. Do you say so? I think so. Just based on everything. So you've read the book? I've read it. Awesome. You're not the first. Eight, eight, you'll be the last. And I'm not saying I agree or disagree. Eight, five, nine, but, you know, there's a whole bunch of information. And depending zero, on what you already believe in, what all you if already know to be the truth, as far as you know, you can take any amount of data of and bend it any way, shape, or form to manifest what it is you already believe 12, 12, in. And I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just how humans okay. interpret the world. Yes. So these cases, the... And, uh, so, right now, if, if the commission of the offense in the, the new manner that you're in court on is during that period of time, then yes, you are advised to be on form of probation at that time. If, 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 what else is going on? Got a great girlfriend. Things are going very well with her. Um, However, in this case, your the, these offenses, these cases are, are possibly from this area. Or 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 yeah. No, I, I got her. Remember on the last uh, big trip I took for work when I was in Wisconsin, I picked her up there. Ooh. Yeah. And uh, I was in Details Magazine this month. You know Details Magazine? It's one of the major men's magazines in in this country. 
Um, well, I guess I'm a little. They did a cool. They did a cool profile on me. It's. Excuse me. It's, it's a men's magazine, like general health, fitness, career. Don't. You don't need to take this crap. Grooming, fashion, you know, men's interest kind of stuff. Okay. Promise me you'll monthly or weekly? It's a monthly. No the stuff what? like, it's read by mostly under 30 professional men, but also like a younger crowd. And it's the kind of thing a lot of guys stop reading when they get when they graduate college. You know. Oh, <laughs> used to be catcher in the Rye. Now it's detail. Yeah, right. Or Maxim if you're. Well, Maxim is more like high school level, and like details is like college. And then if like if you're still reading details when you're 50, it's like. Yeah, maybe your maybe things didn't quite come together, but you know, um, it's a, it's a it's a good publication. It was good exposure for us. So. Okay. Other than that, things are just rock and roll and coming together. All right. And uh, we're just relieved to have this finally, you know, with um, some real dates and, and locations for it. Because like, like I said, that was we were, we were waiting to have the books so that we had we knew okay. we could take off no. and do this. Ebook or is it the revised? Or is it new? Um, oh, just only slightly. It's the second edition, but it's not like it's just window dressing stuff. Okay. Okay. I'm to ask you because I. Oh. I know you have sent something before. Uh, I'm not sure what became of it. I've seen recall that it, it wasn't considered enough proof of your actual new address. Could I impose on you to? Um, I have. I, I mean, I can. I can send you something. I have that, and I have my driver's license. You have what? This. Yeah. But we're well, actually we're actually not there anymore. Um, it's just the, all I have is my legal uh, PO box now because we're going to be God. driving in an RV trailer for the next five and a half months. Good God, there's some of these I could violate you on. It's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, so there is no. Hey, sir, if I may say, you don't want me to film at the courthouse anymore. Hey, it's cool. All you got to do is ask. Like, hey, please don't film at the courthouse I didn't anymore. Know until after the fact. I know. Well, just if you if that's your request and it's one less thing for you to worry about, hey, totally cool. I'm not trying to get away with anything. I'm trying to put my business back together, trying to make some money. You know, my understanding is this is all above board. This is all straightforward. And if it's not, you know, let me know what I got to do. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, I'm, yeah, I even out here, I'm not trying to get away with anything. And if it's if it's an inconvenience, I, I don't need to make your job any more difficult than it is. Because if you can well, make you sure that it already is, but that's <laughs> I mean, if you make it possible for me to do my job, on the surface that sounds more reasonable. I'm happy to do you whatever favors it takes to uh, make your job easier. Yeah. Okay. And if it's giving up one place to shoot, I'll give it up. You know, I'll go I'll go back to the Chatsworth courthouse and bug people there. <laughs> so, you were going to have just a mailbox? Yeah. But well, if you're going to be on the road, then who would be receiving, who would be picking up mail delivered to the mailbox? It's just going to pile up for five and a half months. That's what I was afraid of. I can have someone check it if that's if you if you need me to say well, see, we, we can receive mail there. I can have one of my business partners check it, and I can say, hey, I'm getting mail here. The bottom line is, I'm going to need to get some sort of confirmation. You know what? There's one thing I left off of this form this time, and it's my boss's phone number. If you want, I'll put it on there, and you can give him a call right now.
Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share this video, and check out thefreedomline.com for free book downloads and all your Freedom Gear needs. Why are you twitching? Uh, no comment, sir? Sir, this is your last warning. Taking a bath in Tabasco sauce for